We already know all things sports and entertainment. So, Bronny James and uh, the Los Angeles Lakers, along with his father, LeBron James, currently have a 500 record as they are 4-4. Four and four. This previously came off a loss, and uh, J.J. Reddick ended up getting up and uh, storming out the press conference, even though LeBron had, what, 39 points and a blowout to the Memphis Grizzlies. Bronny, who uh, I don't believe he scored any points, and he made only – no, I think he scored two points. Yeah, I'm tripping. He scored two points in five minutes. Well – You've been hearing people saying that he's he's not NBA ready. Charles Barkley said it. Many other people have said it, um, that, and that he should be in the G League. Well, per Shams, Shams is saying that now, uh, per his tweet, the Lakers today assigned Bronny to their G League affiliate, South Bay, where he expected to debut versus Salt Lake City on Saturday. And um, here's another thing that's just that's crazy about this, about when it comes to Bronny. For now, sources said the G League game plans is for Bronny to play only. South Bay home game as he shuttles between both leagues and team managers or excuse me and team manages his time on respective roster so Brody's only going to play in the G League home games but for the away games he'll be on the Lakers roster <laughs> I guess and, and this is just me right and, and I've, I've had people come on come on here and uh tell me that I'm hating and all of that, but even though nobody gives me any credit when I say salute to LeBron for uh, seeing his dream come true, why he can't play away games in the G League? I feel like Bronny is, uh, and this is what a lot of people are frustrated with, it's like Bronny is, is still being baby. Why, why he can't play, I haven't seen, and, and if y'all have seen this, I don't know, let me know, but I haven't seen nothing like this. Yes, I know they bounce back and forth, but you saying he can only play in G League home games? You would think that Bronny would be a, a a phenom, right? But he's the number 55th overall pick. Should he do anything to try to earn his stripes, to try to prove to the fans, um, the diehard Laker fans, that he deserves this spot? And it's like they've, they, they've already done different things. Like, I've seen uh, a highlight of Bronny. The only thing that they had of a highlight was Bronny getting a steal last game and then missing the layup so what was the point of you making a highlight and y'all don't do that with nobody else and you know you have people say oh man what me you tripping bro with me that's his son that's his son yeah nepotism should happen but at least can it at least happen for somebody who's earned it people rooted for leangelo ball right even though everybody knew he probably wasn't the best nba prospect but at least he tried to earn it even when you talk about Giannis and them brothers like when it comes to or, or scotty pippen jr i see he's on the on the grizzlies you know he's he's um he's trying to he's, he's trying to get it how, how he lives but you have Bronny who should be in college basketball right now right dj wagner came back a second year and I, everybody most people majority of people think dj rag wagner was a better player than ronnie james he came back for a second year mikey williams is i guess in his red show freshman year ronnie is on one of the most the biggest teams out here one of the most winningest teams of all time has some of the most historical players of all time and he's getting like he, he's he you would he's getting kobe bryant treatment to me and kobe wouldn't have did nothing like this you know and then the media the mainstream media, they try to make you, they try to guilt trip you for calling this type of stuff out. And it's like, well, wait a minute. I don't think people want to see Bronny fail. I think majority of people want to see Bronny succeed. It's that the majority of people can clearly see that Bronny is not a ready player yet. You know, and it's like, you trying to force him to be that. No, well, just let y'all should have drafted him. Honestly, you should have drafted him. Let him get one or two games and immediately just send him to the G League for the rest of the year. Y'all did that with Amani Bates. And, um, so my nice here is, who, who do you think was a better player, Amani Bates or Bronny? At least we know Amani can go get a bucket at any time. And he would spend the majority of his time in the G League, you know? So, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this works out, but it, <laughs> if it if it don't, man, Bronny going to be out the league the day LeBron retires. You know, and it was kind of like a, a Genie Buss gave, drafted Bronny for LeBron as a thank you and gave and gave J.J. Redick the coach. Oh, and how come you don't really hear a lot of people going in on J.J. Reddick, him having a 4-4 four four record, but with Darvin Ham, the man took you to the finals and then the playoffs again the next year, the conference finals, and then the and playoffs again, and he was fired, you know? And a lot of people were saying J.J. Reddick was a savant, and they 4-4 four four right now. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.